covering the county every day. This is BBC Radio Kent. So have you thought about actually moving abroad? Well, if you're thinking particularly about France, if that is your place of interest, then really the one place you need to go is the website thisfrenchlife.com. man knows an awful lot about it is English journalist who's there now, and uh, it's Craig McGinty. Good afternoon to you, Craig. Hello, Julie. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, Whereabouts in France are you? I'm actually back over in the UK at the moment. Uh, I was living down in the southwest of France, though, over in in the Dordogne not too far from Bergerac and a couple of hours north of uh, Toulouse. How long were you uh, there for? Well, just under two years. What uh, made you come back, say, Craig? Uh, well, my writing led me back at the moment, uh, but I'm also maybe looking to head back out there on a full-time basis. Uh, but since being back in the UK, I've obviously kept in touch with friends and also the news in France and carried on the website, and hopefully keeping people and readers in touch with what's going on in France as well. It is beautiful, and I think the more we see of France, we're very blessed here in the county of Kent because we can just nip over, you know, and it sometimes takes us less time perhaps to get to northern France than it does to get to London. You know, uh, the more you see of France and the more you actually explore, you find out that there's all these different hidden places and hidden nuggets. I was lucky enough to go to Brittany last year, and it was just absolutely spellbinding. But we overlook some of the areas, don't we? Yes, I think you, you could easily travel within a few hours, and you, you can cross so many different sort of environments and geographies and weather weather patterns and everything uh, but also just even within the same valley you could easily cross different villages and different towns different people uh, and i don't think people actually realize just how big france can be uh, and just a simple journey that they see on the map sometimes obviously i say without the uh, being able to jump onto a motor or anything like that just easy just simple roads and that sort of thing you can just take your time you can discover places at your leisure uh, and then but and within an hour or two you can have been one side it can be on the mountains the other side it could be lovely green hillsides and then before you know it you're up towards the sea and things like that so it's it is there's such a variety of things that people don't really realize until they actually get out there and spend a little time um, actually exploring an area definitely Sadly, a lot of us actually just head to perhaps sort of Calais or Deblois or, you know, north part of Calais, which is great, but, you know, for a day trip or something like that. But it is, as you say, so hugely diverse. In those two years that you were there, obviously, you picked up some nuggets of information, and you've just mentioned the, the road network. Driving through France, a lot of people are put off by it, but actually, it, it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, yes. Well, it's, I don't know, three times, about three times the size of, of England, France, and so uh, you've got about the same number of people living there, the same number of cars over such a wider area. And most people I I know as they're still speaking to people across in France, just chatting to a friend this morning, the the opportunity to to enjoy driving (laughs) uh, is so good. Uh, You can be easily just tootling along the main roads, that sort of thing, and there's no terrible traffic, you know, real, unless you're in the real towns and cities. But outside, once you're out on the open roads, you could easily travel for half an hour and pass maybe half a dozen cars. Uh, at the most, and especially where I was in, down in the southwest side, it was very quiet, some of the roads around that area. But it also does give you an idea then, or, or give you an opportunity to, to discover areas and to see across lovely landscapes. And even even if you just pull in to the side of the side of the road, you can easily look across and usually see some stunning landscapes and some stunning views. Uh, that you, you just sort of get the camera out or just, just stand there and look. <laughs> I think that's what I like. You see, especially in the summer, you see a lot of people just stood at the side of the road looking across uh, a valley, a valley yeah. the valley bottom and stuff like that. It looks, really does look special. To have impressed us as a family, we were pulling over to some of the stop sites, you know, just so we could, you know, go the low, you know, loose stop on it. Much, so much more prestigious than we see in this country and, and far more, you know, prolific. There's loads more of them. But if we were looking to literally up routes, Craig, there's a lot to take on board, isn't there, before we just say, right, that's it. Because, you know, we can be tempted after that holiday away of moving, but we have to think, you know, outside the box. I should imagine the first pitfall is finding the home and actually negotiating, if we don't know the language that well, estate agents and solicitors. There's a whole lot of things to take into account. That is the biggest danger is you've been on holiday, you've had a lovely two weeks, and you think, oh, right, I'm, I'm, you can look back to work on the old commute and all that sort of thing. Right, we're going to make a change, let's go for it. Uh, but you're only, you've only seen it for two weeks at the height of the season in the sunniest of weathers. Uh, so the, the best tip is to spend uh, some time over there, if you can, long term, maybe renting a place for a month or two, even a year. Even if you, if you have decided to go out there and you've sold your property in the UK, to go out and rent a place for a year gives you the opportunity then to, you've got a little bit of 
cash behind you, obviously, is a bit of a safety net. But it also does allow you to explore around an area. Because if you are on holiday, you usually keep where you travel to quite local because, as I say, you're obviously keen to just see close to you. But if you actually rent somewhere long term, you, you can stay overnight in some places. So you can get a, a lot better feel for an area and a region. And you're also likely to see it out of season because when it's pouring down with rain or the grey clouds are rolling in, that's then, if you still like it, that's a good opportunity then. You, you know that you're going to really settle in well. But it also gives you an, eye, a, an opportunity to, to maybe nip into schools, check the local shops and the facilities and the village nearby, that sort of thing, so that you can get a, a better idea uh, of, especially if you've got children, bringing the kids across and whether how, how easily you think they're going to settle into schools and that sort of thing. Get a real taste of it. It's a good idea then, yeah. yeah. I noticed on your website that uh, you, you've got a great blog, and I noticed that we do actually feature, so thank you for that today. Yeah. Much appreciated. <laughs> but also you've got Find a Bargain French Homes, 100,000 plus properties for sale with daily email updates. And you, I can see you've got so much information here. Do you find the more you put on, the more people are actually uh, clicking onto you and, and downloading stuff and actually perhaps putting forward more suggestions to improve your site even more, Craig? Yes, of course. Yeah. One of the main things I try and press forward with the site is to allow people to leave comments uh, and leave their own tips and advice because one person can't cover everything, uh, but the, the group as a community uh, can, can spend some time. They've obviously got experience of doing this, that and the other. I recently wrote something just a couple of days ago. Uh, I've not actually bought a house in, in uh, France. I was renting whilst I was over there. But I asked of readers of the site whether they've got their own experiences of getting the best out of your estate agent. So, because if you've, mm. if you've paid them quite a bit of a commission on, in a, on a property sale and you want help with setting up banks, insurance, gas, electric, how much can you ask of the estate agent? So I'm drawing on the experiences of others as well, which obviously can help those people who are first dipping their toes into thinking about a move, but also those who have been there for many years. Because I think if you are an expat, I don't think you ever stop learning things. <laughs> no, that's, that's <laughs> You're true. forever discovering something new each yeah. day. There's, there's, and that's fantastic. That's what comes across, actually. Uh, and, and I must just say that, you know, looking at the different people and different books, the French Life Shop is where I'm going to go for the 501 <laughs> French verbs. But have you been surprised at the huge popularity of the site, Craig? Uh, I, I suppose so, yes, because I, I just try and write the articles up, really, and keep people in touch with what's going on, uh, both sort of from the admin side, if these rules change on medical cards and all this sort of thing. But also, I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm trying to offer a little bit of a window for people who can't get to France or who can't live in France uh, to offer and point them to different areas and different websites of other people, maybe photographers, people who are just writing their own blogs about life in France. So it gives people a bit of a window into France itself, uh, as opposed to it just being my view uh, and my experiences. I think nowadays... I think one of the, the best thing about a website is that you can highlight other people on their own sort of experience. And some of the photographs that I point to... Beautiful. Well, I know, no possibility of everything <laughs> like that myself. It's fantastic. <laughs> we'll have to talk again, perhaps, if you're passing through Kent back to France, Craig. It'd be a delight if you could uh, pop well, in, because I want to know more about the Dodoin yeah. and, and this beautiful, what, fantastic Gite, which has got uh, four beds and a pool. I think <laughs> I might be off there. So where do we find more information? What's the website, Craig? It's www.thisfrenchlife.com. Wonderful. Thank you very much for being with us. Thanks, Craig McGinty has been with us. If you are thinking of heading to France, whether it be for a weekend, for a day, Day for a week. Check out that website, it's brilliant. 96.7 and 104.2 FM.